Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, super sunny day. What is up? Happy is what? Uh. Ah, happy Wednesday. Today we are talking about one of my favorite topics. My first one is obviously thrifting, but my second one is Doc Martens. Now I own quite a few pairs. If you guys are curious about my kind of collection of Doc Martens, I did film a shoe collection video and I kind of talked a little bit more in depth on each pair and all that. So if you guys are curious, that is linked. And not only in that video, but just for the past couple months, I've been requested to do like how to style Doc Martens type of video. I've wanted to do it, but I just felt like I didn't have enough to say to actually do a video about it but then I was kind of looking at my collection and I was like oh there are a couple things that I keep in mind when I'm styling a specific outfit with each shoe and I figured maybe it would help some of you that are trying to figure out how to style your Doc Martens. Now obviously you can style them however the heck you want. You can wear them with literally anything. These are just some inspirations on how to kind of put a look together with your Docs. So yes let's let's get into it. Let me share y'all my tips for styling Doc Martens. <laughs> Alrighty, we are starting off with my favorite pair of Doc Martens, which are my Jadens. I have two different pairs of Jadens. These ones I'm showing right now are my Jaden Maxes. Oh, whoops, don't wanna show my underwear on the internet, woo woo. Uh, these are my Jaden Maxes with the platform boots. I feel like they're so versatile. Honestly, if you were thinking about getting any Doc Martens, I highly recommend just going for these. They go with literally everything, but I figured I would start with one of my favorite ways is actually with longer skirts. So obviously my leg is being covered by the fabric. So putting some platform boots kind of elongates your legs. And also it kind of adds a different element to the look because personally, I'm not super comfortable with skirts or kind of girlier style clothes. Although I am getting a little bit better with more of these feminine looks, but it's kind of dressing down the outfit as well, especially because my top is a little bit more quote unquote feminine as well. And I just think this is a really great way if you have longer skirts and you don't really know how to style them, especially if you have shorter legs and you don't want to necessarily wear heels with them, this is a really great option. And the next way that you can style them are with some shorts. Obviously spring and summer are coming up and personally I wear my Jadens during the summer. Yes, it gets a little bit sweaty in my shoes, but that is okay. I just think it looks so rad with some shorts, especially these ones because they're like kind of cut off. And then I have a Harley Davidson shirt on. When it comes to socks, I don't own that many socks. So I just have basically my only like different colored pair, but you can really have fun with different socks with Doc Martens in general, but especially the boots. And I feel like this look is all over Pinterest. Well, at least my Pinterest. I mean, obviously I dress like this, so that makes sense that it would be on my Pinterest. But yeah, putting some platform docks with some shorts looks really cool. And also because of the platform, okay, maybe this is just in my head, but I'm just gonna go with it. I don't feel the heat of the concrete. I've worn them to Disneyland during the summer and my feet honestly didn't feel that hot. And I think it's because of the platform. You don't feel the heat that's on the ground. It may be a placebo effect, but I don't care. It works for me. <laughs> and I mean, we couldn't have an outfits video without a denim jacket. So I think a denim jacket with this look is just like so awesome and it makes me feel really cool. So again, like I said, the Jadens, because they are a platform, they elongate your legs. And in this case, I am wearing an oversized t-shirt with some bike shorts, but I decided to do something a little bit different. These are some tights with like a faux sock, knee sock looking effect. I feel like it looked really cool with the boots, especially because these ones are the just like proper Jaden, so they aren't as platform. So it almost looks like I'm wearing knee, high knee shoes. Gosh darn, I can't think of the word. But anyway, just thought it looked really cool. And you can really kind of test the waters with fashion with these boots because they make you look cooler than you may actually be. I know for myself, I look at that and I'm like, oh, I look pretty cool. But I know in general, I am not that cool. Now this goes for Doc Martin boots in general, but specifically the Jaden ones because they are a higher boot. When it comes to pairing them with some mom jeans, number one, I like to go for a lighter wash just because they are dark and chunky and I really want them to pop. So if they're with a darker wash jean, I feel like they just don't shine as much. And then also I try to stick with 
tighter fitting mom jeans to where I can fold them, kind of crop them, so then they can be above the shoes to again, really show off the shoes. Specifically the Jaden Maxes, they go a lot higher than just the normal Jaden. So I really want to wear mom jeans that I can fold the bottoms over that we can just really see the shoes. And then when it comes to the top, I like to just kind of color block my look. I've said it before, I like to do different colors for the top. What did my, I think I just burped in that moment. Whoops. Um, for the top, bottom, and shoes, just to kind of divide my body a little bit. I think it looks really good in photos because then you're not just like a blob. Whereas when you're wearing all black and maybe it's a dark night and you take a photo, then you're like a floating head. So that is my logic. Moving on over to the 1461 shoes. These ones are the vegan pair. And these are really nice because I can wear them almost as if I would be wearing my sneakers, but it's giving it a more elevated look. I use the word elevated so freaking much. I apologize. It's giving it more of a fancier look. And in this case, I'm going with a super basic outfit, which is literally just blue jeans and a white t-shirt. I feel like a lot of people have that outfit. And I felt like when I personally first got them that I needed to wear them in a professional setting look, but you can just wear them literally with your normal jeans and they look really cool. And I decided to also put a black blazer with it because I thought that honestly looked really cool and I'm still getting comfortable with blazers and having the shoes with it versus sneakers makes me feel more confident in the outfit because the blazer is kind of professional looking and the shoes are a little professional looking, but I'm not professional if you know what I mean. Another one of my favorite ways to style these shoes are with some plaid pants, some colorful pants, I think looks really awesome. I also decided to step outside my comfort zone with my socks and do some polka dot socks, which is a pattern on a pattern. And then I just kept it super simple with this black sweater. Honestly, I definitely copied somebody's outfit from Pinterest. I'm not even gonna lie, but I think it looks really cool. Again, with these more plaid pants, I can wear them with some boots, but also if I want to show my ankles a little bit, show some skin, wearing these are really great because pairing them with sneakers, I don't know, it just kind of like brings down the outfit, whereas this just looks like I have my life together. I got pockets. I'm feeling real good. And then with the black belt in the middle, I think that just brings in at the waist and it's just a good time. And now the creepers are creeping. I am so sorry. That was a terrible line. Anyway, these are my creeper Doc Martens. These ones are like the Sydney Creepers. If you guys have seen my shoe collection video, y'all know these shoes are so freaking hard to break in. I'm still breaking them in. I've yet to use the Dr. Martin wax that I got that's supposed to help the leather kind of loosen up. These are great for a very simple outfit. I'm just wearing some mom jeans, this office t-shirt. I did put on some like frilly socks, but I also like to wear these just with basic socks. I did fold up my jeans, but one of my favorite things about these because they are platform, I I like to even wear them with more looser, longer fitting jeans, almost to cover my ankles because with my boots, yes, they're platform and they elongate my legs. Sometimes I just wanna wear my jeans not cuffed. So these are perfect because they are platform. They're still doing everything that the boots would do, but being able to then not have to cuff them. Like I said, I like to wear these with more wide leg jeans. And these jeans are absolutely perfect because I've worn them with my boots and again, they just kind of cut them off and then you don't really get to see the full shoe. Whereas with this, because they are lower, you can see the full shoe. I just have some black socks with them. And again, I could wear just normal tennis shoes, but putting these on is making the look look cute or yeah, looked cuter. And I have my Harley Davidson kind of crop shirt. I really like the looser fitting clothes all together. And then with the shoes, I love the look of creepers. I've seen them on Pinterest of like all these grungy people wearing them and I want to be like them, but also myself. And this is how I implement them into my outfits. So I feel like a lot of people start out with the 1460 boot when they get into Doc Martens. So I definitely wanted to show them in this video. I decided to show you guys two different pairs that I have, a black pair and a red pair. 
decided to go for the black pair first because that is also the one I think most people get first. I decided to style it with this more girlier dress. For me, I'm still getting used to these more feminine pieces and one great way to make myself feel a little bit more comfortable in them is wearing some Doc Martin boots, specifically boots, especially these ones because number one, if I'm not wanting to go for a platform and I just want a very much casual look, these ones are absolutely perfect. They go with literally everything and you're just adding a little bit more edge to a look. Usually if I am wearing a dress, I will put some sort of Doc Martin boots. Okay, I know I literally just showed you a dress with these boots, but these ones are red, so they're different. And I actually used to hate that they were red. I wanted them to be black, but I actually get more wear out of these boots than the black ones. And I just think they add a really nice pop of color, whether you're wearing a full black look, or in this case, I'm wearing different colors. I think it's just adding a different element, especially because I don't accessorize very often. So mud docks are usually my accessory. And I did notice these shoes are red. This dress, although it does look blue, it is actually green, so kind of giving y'all some Christmas vibes in here, but if you have a slip dress or if you've gone to the thrift store and you see them because my goodness, they have so many in the pajama section, rock them with your 1460 boots. I think they look so cool. And honestly, I don't think I've even worn a slip dress without these kind of boots. Either these ones are the Jadens just because I think they look so cute together and really bring in the look. Next are the Blair Brondo sandals. These ones are my favorite sandal. I mean, I think the only sandal I honestly wear and with spring coming up, sometimes you wanna wear like a cutesy shoe, but also not too cutesy. So these ones are perfect. And especially with this dress, I could put it with some boots, but I actually wanna keep it a little bit more feminine. So these ones are perfect for that. If you're wanting to wear some docks, but keep them a little bit more feminine, a little bit more girly, but still a little edge on that. The sandals are absolutely perfect because it gives a little bit of a platform as well. But I just like to pair these with a cute dress and I definitely will be doing that this spring. Personally, when it comes to sandals and socks, I feel like this is kind of the only way that I personally like it. Although it does look like I'm wearing boots a bit, I could put some fun socks with them as well. But because they almost are a gladiator style shoe, I think you can have fun with them with different socks and I just wore them with a skirt just to keep it more spring and summer. Obviously you can wear these with jeans, mom jeans, all that jazz. I'm just trying to show you guys different ways that you could rock them, but I really like this look because of the rainbow sweater. I feel like that's kind of funky and it goes perfectly with the sandals. Wearing a skirt with these are kind of the same things that I said with the dress. It's kind of keeping it a little cutesy in a way, but I have the socks with the sandals, so it's like kind of edgy a bit. Alrighty, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely let me know in the comments down below which outfit you liked the best. If you guys do like thrifting videos, thrift hauls, thrifting with me's, so make sure you hit subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, alexandrine83, to keep up to date with me during the week. I will see you guys in my next video. Enjoy life, be happy, and I love you lots. Bye!